and settle things a little better next time. It's a shame about this province, though. Mm. Well, if they do revolt, I'll just give in to their silly little demands. So, until then, I'm going to take my troops out of there. Rest in peace, Grand Captain. You're one of the few things keeping my military points afloat. Get you there. Peace out with Jampure to unexile my troop, or rather exile my troops. Take And your money. My troops are exiled, I can take them home. As long as I take them this route. And then I'll do that. Take care of the revolts. And then, what did I say I'd do next? A war with Orissa is still ten years away, which is a shame. Fight everyone, Jake. Okay. I'll get right on that. That's right, I want to send a single troop over to the Maldives to take care of that. Guys, my rebel problems are important too. Some might say considerably more important. Holy smokes. Let's hope Viet back doesn't go soon. Can I make it there? 20 days? Come on, it's not looking good. My missionary! Wow, Father Ted uh, put up a fierce resistance there. Now be gone. This is the last ruckus I want to hear from the Vietnamese for quite some time. Get rid of the mercs, consolidate the rest, get back together. And just hang out there for a wee bit. I'll send you out to take care of the Maldives problem. And then what? Patani? Mm. Jake, you have free colonies. Yeah, but I'm trying to think where I would send them. All the temperate land is uh, already spoken for. I could border Japan, but I mean, Japan could curb stomp me quite happily. Could ravage my way through Japan, though, very quickly, spit them out as a vassal and reintegrate them. But boy, that would be heavy on the everything. Stability would go down the toilet. War exhaustion would explode. But if I had all of Japan... Hmm, if I had all of Japan... Does Japan take religious ideas at all? Well, specifically as their third or fourth idea. If they do, I could make something out of that. Spit them out and have them convert their lands for me. They're in my culture group, so it's not too hard to convert, but Shinto... Shinto is uh, a bit horrible for conversion. Hey, you know what? Let's let's do it. Let's see what Japan does to us. Jake, what are your plans for Europe? They just very swiftly annex them. The idea is that I'll have all of uh, Asia under my rule in maybe like a couple hundred years. A couple hundred years might be pushing it. And then I just 
just steamrolled a lot. Or attempt to, anyway. With any luck, my third nuke will be powerful enough to, uh, to take on Europe. That looks cute. Who's subjugating who now, Japan? Yeah. Samurai class, more like samurai ass. Or something like that. Holy War on Japan. Now Japan, very strong. Mighty Navy as well. HIJ, Japan, 12, 24, 15. And don't they have allies? Korea and Oirat. Gee, this is this is not looking like a good idea. Hmm. Well, what can you do? Huh. I could either have Nan change to Buddhist, which I don't want, or gain stability, which I really do want. Bit of a no-brainer. Now, I want to get integrating Shan ASAP, so let's get those relations up. We can annex you 4th of July. Oh, this year? Oh, no, that's Send a Diplomat. 1556. Helps if I read the right things. Jake, what will you do about the Americas? Europe can colonize it, and I'll just annex Europe. And that way I get their colonial nations for free. Hopefully the colonial nations don't rebel. If they do, I'm going to have some trouble in my hands. I don't think I can be bothered sailing over and colonizing it myself. Here's the thing. If I fight Tibet, Oirut's going to become war leader. And Oirut will call in Japan, and Japan's navy will... Uh, do terrible things to me. Maybe I should fight Ming instead. But Ming... Oh, their technology. In the meantime, I could deal with, uh, deal with this area here. Could you call a nice little island southeast of Yemen? If you mean this one, then it's already taken at game start. I could take this one. I take Patani, just annex them outright. Does that sound feasible or fair? Their their colour looks kinda strange on my map, kinda kinda like sandpaper. Ah, uh, you managed to convert to Animus, did you? Good on you. Do the work for me. Now, Patani. Jeez. Do I really want to take all this land? It's going to be really revolting. For 30 years. Probably hell to... Well, you know, I'm not doing much else. I'm going to have to take it eventually. Let's just snap out of it and take it on. Shouldn't be very difficult to defeat these guys either. In fact, if I just declare war, I'm pretty sure my vassal will do the job for me. So we'll hurl them an insult just to get rid of that uh, that stab hit on declaration. What I will also do is uh, probably marry Sean. Ha! <laughs> Japan's uh, forging claim on our province. I wonder if they intend on declaring declaring war on us for it. In which case they're going to have to deal with the knights. It'll be interesting to see how that works out. Oh, that's, that's not so hot. Not much I can do about those, but give in to their demands. Cancel the core creation. We only got half of it back, but pff, not too fast. Uh, like I said, hurl you an insult, so you don't love us quite so much. 
While I'm at it, might be an idea to forge a claim on one of those provinces. It'll make it slightly cheaper to core, so why not? Right, let's blitz the south then. Spices. Fantastic. I thought the Maldives very rarely gave spices. I thought they were all about... Uh... Oh, I can't, can't forge a claim on you because that's their capital. Well, no worry. War will sort these things out in due time. Just in time, religious unity has uh, never been higher. 119% with only one heathen province of Bihar. And that's not about to change, especially when I give it local autonomy. You know, if I planned on annexing Janpur, why was I even thinking about coring that? When I release Janpur, they'll have a... Uh, they'll take that with them. Guess I've got brain problems. Ugh. Knights are very eligible to be annexed by Ottomans. I want that to happen so much. Unfortunately, they're picking crappy missions like Conquer Kaffa. So our vassals get to work doing the occupation for us, so I could probably afford to pay my uh, vassals less, less. Wait, what? Some of our citizens have decided to strike out and found a new colony. Get 200 in Kamikawa. Or get 50 there. Hard to argue with 200, but I will. Having a, an extra colony will be uh, twice as expensive as any of my previous ones. I'd rather not, uh, rather not have that. So direct them to the existing colony. Everyone is free in Ryukyu, free to do as I say. I don't know why I put the main unit down there when I want the mercenaries on the front line. Jake, do you think that overall world conquest is now harder or easier than it is in the beginning? Um, that's tricky. I'd say it's about even, but for different reasons. I mean, remember when you could diplomatics any country regardless of size? Yeah, those were the days, all right. Perhaps I should annex a Utah, but I've still got that uh, that truce going on for a wee while. Till 49. Oh, till next month. Well, your head is mine. Might as well do it while I still have that claim going. In my first playthrough, I said I could not attack Crete. Why, asks Dark Shad 0 w 515 Well, um, Crete is an Eastern technology country. It's as simple as that. Eastern people can't have um, can't have protectorates. Oh, that sneaky beggar. Well, no matter. I'll still destroy him. Right, there we go. I'm trying to position this so I don't really take too much uh, attrition, because I want my manpower to be back up as high as possible. I've been running quite a lot of risks lately with regards to that. I'll accept your stupid demands. And now what? Now there's no revolt risk. So I could core it, or I could just leave it be. Leaving it be sounds pretty attractive. Especially since I can declare war on you again in about four years. And I, uh... Hmm. Well, I could, but that's going to be difficult. How do I get there? Oh, okay. So, uh, Sean decided to... He wanted the glory. Go for it, Sean. 
but I'll back you up just in case. Good job roughing them up. Level 2 4, drop 2 off. The rest of you. Yeesh. Onwards south. What do you mean Chinese protectorates? Well, I'm Chinese technology, and I can be a protectorate of Western countries, but not Eastern countries. Now, if I take over the siege, hopefully Pegu will go and crush the enemy. He does not. Maybe he'll attach to me. That's more like it, but I'd rather you did that on your own. I don't want to spend money on troops here. I've got my budget to uh, be concerned with. I will, however, back you up. Thank you, Peggy. Shame they're still dossing about at uh, Military Tech 7. There, I'm so generous, I'll even take over the siege for you. How does that sound? Perfect. Jake, when does the truce with Orissa end? Oh, jeez, that isn't good. Got a battle going on here that I don't want. I doubt supporting those rebels is going to magically make them stop hurting me, but I can try. One stability, 40 admin, or 100 military power. I'm going to have to go with the military power, unfortunately. Because I really, really need to deck up. Yeesh. Painful. Lucky asks how long I'm going to keep streaming. Um, I don't know. Why, do you have plans on continuing the greatest game? Because it's, uh, it's about 13 minutes to 10. I think I'll keep this going for a wee while longer. Do I plan on colonizing Siberia? Absolutely. I want to get up there as uh, quickly as possible. Which may not be believable because I haven't really been making a beeline for it. Partly due to these in very high military technology countries that will probably spank me silly. I've been quite unfortunate with how stable Oyerit and Ming have been. If they would have been a bit more broken up, uh, then, well, things would have gone smoother. Could have been breaking Ming apart. But they haven't, I didn't, and I'll just have to deal with, uh, deal with things as they come my way. Babyface says, please stream for much longer. I'll do what I can. But I don't know, I'm getting kind of hungry here. Someone want to order me a pizza? <sighs> okay, Maldives looking good. Not sure what my plans will be exactly around there. But I should prepare for them with another cog. Ugh, Maldives. It's certainly not worth losing half their population, so I'll just throw them the 30 ducats. Jake, you can block E to speed up the sieges. I could, but I'm in no hurry here. Why worry? Actually, you could well be right. You can blockade 5 base tax here. I certainly couldn't blockade a Utah. 11 base tax, 13 base tax that it is. God, that's going to be expensive decor. Let's put a number to that. 198 administrative power decor. Well, damn. Jake, 
please stream until I fall asleep. Ah, oh, jeez. How about I stream until I get that subscriber button? Yeah. 100 more in the Maldives. Great. Alright, this is... I'm getting a little bit twitchy at how slow this expansion is going. I should be tearing Ming to pieces by now. And the diplomats descend. But, uh... A touch expensive, but like I said, I'm really desperate to keep my manpower under uh, under control here. I should do. We'll get all these troops onto a Utah to try and take care of any rebels that pop up. for peace, get you fully annexed, no no cost to doing that. And that's pretty horrible revolt risk. I'll never get it converted anytime soon. I'm gonna have to let it uh, let it rot for quite a while. What I will do then is I'm actually just gonna let it revolt and I'll give in to their demands. No need to antagonize the Ayuta people any further. Maldives get. And have I still got that? Yes, I've still got the Conquistador. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have him instantly teleport over to uh, the Maldives because he is Goku. And then this is one of the few other provinces around here that is not tropical, so let's take it. Oh, this one isn't tropical either. <sighs> Better range from that one. Onwards. Onwards! bit of a naval battle going on. I don't care because you are already annexed. Holy War with Aka. Not even concerned. Now do I spend military points stamping down harsh treatment or not? Hmm. I'd say or not. Only costs money to reinforce my uh, my uh, words failing me so hard today. Only cost money to reinforce my mercenaries. Cease and desist with the Wukau, please. And let's not forget about our explorer this time. Jake, can you sell Yuta to Pegu and let them core it? No. And there's two reasons I can't do that. One is that it is not part of their culture group and it's not an accepted culture. It is Central Thai, of which there are only two provinces of that culture. So they wouldn't buy it on that for that reason. Other reason is that uh, it's not my... I Sorry, the other reason is I can't sell provinces because I am a subject nation. I also can't give subsidies. So this is why, even though I think I have some great plans for this, some of them may fall short because I keep forgetting about the constraints towards being a subject nation. Now Ake looks like a reasonable target next. So what I will start doing is fabricating a whole bunch of claims on them so that when I do take them it'll be cheaper to core. And yeah I won't core you until you revolt. Sounds good. Oh you hear that? Right, Buddhist influences. Well, I could either convert to Buddhist or not. No thank you. Now... Yeah, let's not waste any time. Let's take on Ake as soon as we are... Uh, as soon as we've got those claims going. Let's also keep those relations with Sean nice and high. Bengal have got civil war. That's not very good. In fact, I'd go so far as to say that's awful. Hmm. 
don't think that'll have any impact on me. If they were my personal union miner, then that would be a bit awful. Although part of me really doesn't want them to lose that 3-4-4 uh, that four, four ruler. Hmm. Jake, how often or in what co or in what intervals do you plan to use that 74% exploit? Between streams, I suppose. It's a good time to do it because it's boring. Um, does mean that I have to kind of balance out my uh, religious unity to be at about 99%, but with taking that province, seems to worked out quite well here. Still, I don't think I need it. I don't need it anytime soon again. My, I'm overflowing with diplo and admin power. The last time I did it, I must have gotten about 4,000. Thereabouts. How long did I do it for? Four years? Three years? Anyway, I got tons of points. You'd have to spend decades just waiting with a good ruler to get all that. Hmm, I was kind of hoping that Ayuta would be uh, exploding with rebs a bit quicker. Right, let's get you sorted out and let's get you still there. That's okay. Jake, support the rebels. Jake, support the rebels. What rebels? Oh, yeah. Hmm, but I'm fabricating claims, man. I don't want to do that. Besides, what are they going to do? I'm actually curious to see this myself. It's not uh, not a gameplay mechanic I often use, is supporting rebels. Wow, I'm going to keep that one in mind. Thanks a lot, guys. Ah, Vrodnar Viking, welcome back. Let's keep those in relations with Sean Sky High. Cannot annex until... 1556. Five years, then. How are you doing for religious conversion? Very poorly. I bet I would have to reload my game. No! No, I don't. Good job. I'm proud of you. Shame I can only uh, forge one claim at a time. Finance is doing fantastically well. Suspiciously well, I'd even say. Must be all that tea. God, it really is. Well, well how about that? Well, let's get that revolt risk higher. I need that. Uh, I need that province to pop. Netherlands declare independence. Bit of a sorry state there. Right, we've got conquest at Ake, but uh, one province isn't quite enough. That said, they're all low base tax provinces. Maybe I shouldn't waste my time with this. I'll fabricate one more claim and then declare war before it finishes up. Ake is military tech 9, I'm military tech 8, but mill 9, the only difference is they get uh, aqua busters. <laughs> only difference is they get a pip in fire. Well, I'll get it as well, then. It gives me a few months to play with. I could justify a trade conflict. Shame that's worthless. Thank you, Holy War. Right, two, two, four, but I can't reach Malacca. Ake. No. I could get Aru. No, of course, Ake is the capital. So I could get Aru. Well, Aru's three base tax. I don't think I'm going to do better. And yeah. Recall you, so you're free to declare war. Jake, send a missionary to Ayuta to increase revolt risk. Man, this is why chat's so good. That had the opposite effect. You could even say I didn't want that at all. 